Hey everyone, this is Monkey Figure Reviews and today we'll be reviewing the King of Artists Podgas The Ace version 2. So um, this figure itself it basically has Ace in um, a marine outfit. Um, I'm not too sure if this happens in, in the anime but in the manga, uh, basically Oda did a cover story of, of Ace infiltrating a marine base so he, he basically went undercover to, to do his business and this is out of it. They basically made this figure out of their cover story. Okay, and same thing, uh, today we'll be doing an unboxing video too. Because uh, I actually got this figure and the Hancock figure recently, together. So uh, this Ace figure came out in December. Um, probably 3-4 to four months, around there. Uh, you can probably still get it around. It should be quite readily available still. Okay, and let's take a quick look at the box. This is pretty standard. Like uh, for King of Artists boxes, they usually have King of Artists and the figure name, really, really big, together with the image of the figure right in front. Of course, it, it says here King of Artists podcast the Ace Two, because it's a sec second figure, or I would say the second version of Ace that they did. Okay, uh, this is a side view. Pretty similar to the Sanji one, and this is the back view, which is basically the same as the front. And at the top, it says, um, I have, it says King of Artists, Podcast the Ace 2. I have my Brembresto sticker over here, as well as a Toei sticker uh, to prove the authenticity. Yep, so once again, this is, a, this is by Brembresto. They make a lot of these price figures. And they are usually pretty amazing. Okay, so we should start the unboxing now. Okay, um, so I've done taking out the parts of the figure and it comes in three parts the upper half, the bottom half and a base to support the figure Okay, uh, and I really like how they are coming out with this kind of base now for, for, for the King of Artists series which I think it is slightly better than the other black or effect bases that they have but this is my opinion Okay, and um well, let's just take a look at, uh, at the features first. So, Ace face, I think it's actually pretty accurate, I must say. Um, regarding the regarding the, uh, the the facial expression, the hair is quite nicely done as well with the cap on. I think the, the cap is really nice, the maroon cap. The colors are very, are very vivid, very good contrast to uh, this is the back of a hair of his hair. Mine's a little bit of damage, or I was maybe it's a it's just a manufacturing painting defect. White color over here, and the shirt that is wearing the maroon shirt has the maroon maroon symbol, nicely painted on. With together with all the creases over here, the buttons on both sides. Here we have Ace Tattoo, his elbow pad, his lock pose, and his upper torso. Well sculpted to show his, his figure. His arms as well, you can see the veins, um, the muscles. More obviously on this side, as well as going up to the hands. Well I think the uh like they didn't they didn't paint the fingernails. 
Usually don't do it for King of Artists figures. And of course, uh, he has his necklace, beaded necklace inside too. Okay, so let's take a look at his shots. I think the designs are more or less similar all the time. Uh, yeah, there's this little kind of knife, the kind of pocket here. The belt with an A. Creases are nicely done, I must say that. Really realistic folding going on. The belt too. Mine has a the calf, the left calf of Ace. There's a little bit of scratches and pain marks. Yeah, and so there's a little bit of problem here. But as usual, progressive figures, you give them a little bit of room for error, it's fine. And lastly, you have the boots. Really like how you could see the soles. A little bit of. I think the design, I'm not sure if it's intentional or not, but it looks a little bit like. A um, little bit of realistic wear and tear going on. Okay, and I'm gonna piece the figure together now. Just tug it in like that. They're all pretty similar, just like how the Law King of Artists, um, the Sanji King of Artists, the way you fit them together. And I think, there we go. A little bit unstable. So I guess we will need the base. I don't think can. Oh, sorry, it's not focused, the video. Yeah, you can see it's, it can't stand on its own, so I definitely have to fit in the base. Um, let me just figure this, this out. I think it's it goes onto his. Yep, his right feet to help him stand. Okay, uh, I'm going to shift my camera up and a figure back. So we all get a better view. King of Artists Ace version 2. I'll do a do I'll do a quick 360 first. Um I think it's, there's a kind of problem with this figure, and that is that its weight is leaning too much to the front, especially at the top. So it really looks unbalanced from the front or even from, from this angle as you can see can you tell? it's a little bit too slanted for my liking but if you're looking at this angle maybe it's fine but if you're looking at this angle again then it's it's, it's quite obvious I think it has something to do with either the, the way they sculpted the, the feet or the weight of the figure itself alright so uh, I'm gonna take out the other figures now so we can do some comparison and some figure display matching. Let's just take a quick look at Ace, Ace's height first. Um, he is really, really tall. <clears throat> um, I would say about 10 and a quarter inch, 26 cm. Even taller than Sanji, as you can see. Uh, which is also from the King of Artists line. And of course, here I have Luchi from Creator X Creator series, Gear 4 Luffy. So you can have a little, little bit of comparison. Okay. I'm gonna take out the. I, for some reason, I happen to own a lot of Ace Ace figure, Ace figures, so I'm gonna take them out. First of all, I have the Master Stars Piece Ace. That's how they look. You can see the scale is similar, but the sculpting, the shape, the, the size, the different proportion of, of the of of the body is definitely different. And then uh, we have the Ace Limited Edition 10th Anniversary, which is one of my favorite figures because I think Ace look amazing. Strong World Ace. Probably have to shift this figure to make them look more nicely laid out. 
as well as Kid Ace. So this is like my my Ace strength for all of you to see. And of course, if you do not know, um, these three figures are from the Portrait of Pirate series. And this is the Master Sapi series, Kevati series again. This is how the skill compares. This is how they look like if I were to put them together. So uh, that's it. That's that's all I have uh, for for this review. Um, I would say, you know, I'm not sure if the problems that I'm facing with, with the leaning issue and a little bit of scratches here and there, it is it is just a special case or it's quite consistent across. Uh, but I think. It's quite interesting. It's, it definitely, it's definitely a quite interesting uh, Ace figure. We don't usually get him in the Marine outfit, so I think it's still recommended to get one if you can afford. Uh, if you can afford to, to get it, or if you're if you're a huge Ace fan, you will definitely get it. Get it. Uh, other than that, thanks so much for watching the video, for watching the review. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Please uh, like the video if you enjoy it, and ask any questions. Ask away or just comment on what you think. Thank you guys and see you again.